creating a portfolio. The first step in the portfolio planning process flow is to create a project portfolio. A project can belong to only one portfolio and one planning cycle at a time. However, a project can belong to multiple scenarios within a planning cycle in a portfolio. So the relationship is one portfolio within one portfolio. You can create one planning cycle within one planning cycle. You can have multiple scenarios and within each scenarios you can have multiple projects and scenarios can have same projects as well. However, there is one and only one active planning cycle within a portfolio. And as we understood in the last movie, while you are creating a portfolio, you got to define the basic set of information, which includes the class category of the portfolio, the organization, which determines the eligibility criteria of the project that would be included as a part of the portfolio. And then you grant access to the end users to determine who all will have or can access the portfolio. Now in terms of the steps of creating a portfolio, I have listed it down on the right hand side. So you basically log in into Oracle applications, navigate to the project portfolio analysis responsibility and then the first step is you open the create portfolio page and you enter a unique portfolio name then you select the start organization which is an optional one so if you select a start organization then only that organization and its children organization will be included in that particular portfolio then you select a portfolio classification category and then select the name of the portfolio owner. So by default, the person who is creating the portfolio is also the owner of the portfolio. Then you optionally enter a portfolio description and then you open the portfolio access page to specify who all can access that portfolio. And lastly, you specify the name of the portfolio approver and additional portfolio analysis. All right, so having said that, let's go into Oracle applications and complete this process. So if you don't remember, we have already logged in with the user services and a password of welcome. And then once you've logged in, simply go to the responsibility project portfolio analysis and go to my portfolio, hit the open button. It's going to open a HTML form like this and simply hit on the button, create portfolio and give a portfolio name over here. So let's say DM2 demo portfolio and optionally give a start organization. So what I can do here is I can specify vision services as start organization, which in itself, okay, let's see if you've got anything else here. You can also specify vision corporation if you like, which will include all the organization within this business group. Yeah, I think it will be appropriate that we gave Vision Corporation here. And then in terms of business objective, this is a predefined list of values, okay? And then you choose from the one that has been predefined. So in Vision Demonstration Environment, you've got these many out here. And I would say something like product portfolio management. And you can specify a description if you like. So let's say
fine and you've got to remember that the business objective that you give over here would be assigned to this specific portfolio within this specific planning cycle and once you have assigned it you cannot assign this same business objective to any other portfolio within that same period that is a system specific restriction which is specific to Oracle project portfolio analysis module and the next step I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to portfolio access and here I'm going to hit add new record and I will add a new record for gray Donald air and I'm going to add him as a say program manager or you can you can even add, add him as a portfolio approver so let's see if you've got anything like a portfolio approver look at that so a notification will be sent to him whenever the portfolio has been recommended by a portfolio analyst and requires approval fine and then in terms of planning history don't worry about this because we haven't even created the planning cycle as yet so once you're done hit the apply button and then it's going to create a portfolio and it will display right here in your dashboard within my portfolios and look at that the planning cycle hasn't been created as yet so this space is empty and you've got to click on this pencil icon to create a new planning cycle but I have already created in a previous demonstration for portfolio and it has been listed over here now other thing that I want to show you over here is the business objective I told you once you have used it in your other portfolio then you can't use it for a new portfolio so it's like mutually exclusive so if I go here I've used a business objective corporate budget planning and the same wasn't available while we were creating the second portfolio and instead of using that we have used product portfolio management all right